Jet planes in the night sky with you Getting high in the sunrise with you Getting through all the bad times with you I wasn't missing a thing, no I do And I wish that I could be Good morning. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're keeping safe. It's been a while. It's been a while since we met here. Um, I've not been feeling well. That's why I've not. I've been under weather for like about a week or so. So that's why I was a bit. I was a bit. Like I was not even feeling like I was not feeling the vibe of doing anything or something or recording a video or something. So welcome back. If you're a new subscriber, welcome back. Feel at home. This is a place where we learn every day. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and for trusting us. We don't take it for granted. I personally don't take it for granted that you've come back. So feel home, feel at home. Sit back, relax, learn and enjoy. I'm hoping it's it's gonna be a good day. This message is to all nurses who are out there and thinking that maybe life even gonga, life me gonga, like you don't know what to do, you don't know what to expect with your life. Hey, please wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's yet a new day that the Lord has made for us, and we need to rejoice and be glad in it. So today, without wasting so much time or without like going into like corners and corners and stuff, let's talk about NCLEX. Guys, as we all know, like if you're a nurse, uh, maybe you've had somebody saying, uh, I've ever done NCLEX. You already, we have already talked about NCLEX and we know what is NCLEX. I had promised that I would come back and explain, since I'm, a U I'm an USRN, how I managed to pass my exam at um, 78 marks, because 78 points, because my computer shut down at 78. Then what materials did I use to revise? How did I revise? How did I hack it? Like, you know, at least maybe if, you, if you're if out there and you think that maybe how I did mine is going to help you. And if you borrow a leaf, one or two, and it helps you well and good anyway, because we said in this channel, it's all about educating each other. Like I told you guys, I started my USRA journey in 2020. I registered with MedPro in 2020, April. And uh, I was enrolled for classes. That is uh, the module. This time, those days, we used to wake up very early in the morning, like I think around 2 a.m. Kenyan time, East African time. We do classes from. We used to do classes from from 2 a.m. up until around 6 a.m. There, then um, they send you notes, and then they send you reading materials. Like they work with you throughout, and then guys. As, 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 as you're continuing the journey of like doing the modules and stuff, there are those qualifications that you have to meet for MedPro, like for them to, like, how do I say it? For them to, for you to qualify to do for, to sit for the NCLEX exam. But I understand nowadays it's a bit complicated, not complicated as per se, but it's a bit, it's a bit more te intense. It's not like during our time. So what we used to do during our time, like I used to have a reading partner, 
like I used to have, um, we, we formed a group, you know, WhatsApp group. Then uh, we used to tell ourselves because uh, we don't have much time. You know, you're a working mommy, you're, you're a working, you're, you're working, like you're working, you have to fulfill your duties as an employee. You have to fulfill your duties as a mother. Maybe if you're married, you have to fulfill your duties as a, um, as a married woman or as a married man, you know, you have to do low comes, guys, because I've told you in Kenya, you can't survive with one job, my friend. You have to do for, to go for those low comes. So maybe you've been doing low comes. Somebody else maybe is even doing a Bachelor of Science in Commerce like a BSN. Somebody else is maybe even doing um, a high diploma. In, like you, you're doing other things. By the time you're joining this uh, program of uh, revising for NCLEX, you had already started your own things. So it, it used to be hectic. So we joined ourselves. We, 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 we came together as a group. We came together as a group and uh, I think we were a group of five ladies, big up to my group, that is NCLEX 2022. So what we used to do, we used to open a Google Meet, a Google Meet account on Google account on Gmail. Like maybe, for example, um, I open up a link and then... I tell guys that like tomorrow in the morning uh, from around 4 a.m. we'll be revising cardiovascular system. And in this cardiovascular system, we are starting from the point, I, guys, you'll forgive me, me, I love CVS, I love cardiovascular anatomy, heart issues, anything, any day, that's my topic, that's my thing. So I'll always talk about cardiovascular. So maybe we decide, because I'm good in uh, cardiovascular, I'll be, di I'll be discussing for you guys in summary what I know tomorrow in the morning and then from there maybe we'll do one or two topics in sounders so we used to have those books like the sounders book online books or maybe if you have a leaping coat like me i used to have a leaping coat book uh, the, the big book and then i used to have a pearson view book as well and then um, somebody else had um somebody else had the um, in my group somebody else had the sounders and then all of us we had sounders so like I open if maybe like for example I want to discuss I want to discuss some um, for example I want to discuss CVS so I'll tell people today we are reading or we are talking about CVS and I'll be discussing the conditions that affect all the congenital the heart the congenital heart conditions like we're talking about congenital heart conditions management and pharmacology you understand don't forget that at that time we have uh, notes from MedPro the agency. And maybe somebody else is in a different agency because we, we came together as groups like maybe somebody from MedPro, like me, I'm from MedPro, and then somebody else from Avant, somebody else from OGP, Interstaff and all that. So we combined efforts, you know. Me, I'm, I'm a visual person. I believe in what I see and what you discuss for me, I'll, I'll remember. I don't rely, I don't rely on what I sit down myself and read and read and read. Like if I cocoon myself in my bedroom and start reading like in a study room, I'll not understand, I'll not remember. But when you talk about something, like when somebody discusses that to me, I'll be remembering, oh, this is what Zippy said. So like now we are online, it's a Google Meet, like, you know, you understand what's a Google Meet? So we are there online at 3 a.m., we've woken up, we've, we've set up, we take coffee, blah, 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 you shower. If you want to shower in that early morning, like me, I used just to wash my face. And then I take, I prepare a cup of coffee, either white coffee or black coffee. I take and then I like now I prepare my laptop, like my working area and stuff. So we will do CVS from 4 a.m. Let's say because we wake up at 3, 3 a.m., 3.30, around there. So we will, at, at exactly 4, we started the classes. And remember, I'm supposed to work, maybe the following day I'm supposed to be at work by 7.30. So I have to make sure that I have grasped something before I go. So I have my pen, I have a paper, I have a computer, I have a phone, I have an extra phone. Maybe I want to Google something, you know, like you've prepared yourself. So we would uh, revise, maybe like we say, we are talking about, um, let's talk about uh, maybe rheumatic heart disease. So we'll discuss about rheumatic heart disease, the causes, the treatment, and the like man treatment, stroke management, and the symptoms and all that. So then the post-operative care of this patient. Then after that, maybe see we've like, let, let's assume we've discussed two topics. And then you've discussed cardiovascular. Um, we are in cardiovascular system. So we want to exhaustively finish cardi cardiovascular. So you've done uh, rheumatic heart disease today. And then maybe you've done, uh, just name a condition in cardiac, cardiac, whatever cardiac system. So you've done its symptoms, management, 
the anatomy of those valves, like everything, mitro, let's say mitral valve stenosis, we've talked about it, um, like you've gone in details. Then before we finish, before we finish, like before we wind up, because you see it's from 3 a.m., now let's call it for four, five, six, so those are three hours. So of course when we are reading, we don't need that to go in details, we are just trying to catch up with the things that we feel like we are not, we are not well conversed with. So and after we are done, maybe like we've revised for two hours, then one hour we set it aside for doing questions. So we go back now to our QBank. QBank, maybe you used, me, I used to have UWorld, and then there's somebody else who had uh, Archers, somebody else had Simple Nursing. So we decide like today we are going to use UWorld. So when you use UWorld, you set questions. There is a way in UWorld you set questions. Uh, maybe like you said, 15 questions all about cardiovascular system. And you're talking about cardiovascular system, you'll set questions based on the pharma pharmacology, you'll set uh, questions based on the condition itself and the anatomy. Like there's a way, you, you understand there's a way you can, if you're a nurse out there and you're doing NCLEX or you're about to start NCLEX, you'll understand this when you get to that point because there's a way you can set, there's a way you can set, um, there's a way you can set that exam in such a way that it's based on the topic that you want, according to what you've done. So we will gauge ourselves, and then after we are done with the, um, we are doing all of us because it's online. Maybe if I'm the one who set it, I'll tell them, um, let me open, I read for you, and then you tell me the answers. And then you see I'm, I'm screen sharing, so everybody is seeing the questions. Then we tell me, I pick, and then we, we, we like, if it's out of 40, how many did we get right? Then you go back during your free time. I'll give you my access to my Q bank. You will you will revise what we did that day in the morning. You have if you have as long as we've told each other this is um, I've given you my time because I'm not I'm not logged in. What you do you just log in into my account and then uh, you revise you revise because I maybe I'm busy. I'm from a night shift. I'm on night shift. I'm, I need to sleep during the day and stuff. So you do this. You revise and then when you're done you tell me so that somebody else can go in. You understand. Then after that, um, now like we, 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 that's how we exhaustively finished the sounders. We used to take topic by topic, um, and then we set questions, we revise and read the rationales. We were not reading rationales for the sake of finishing the Q-Bank. We were reading those rationales for the sake of understanding. Okay? We were reading those rationales for the sake of understanding in such a way that this question, because I might find it in Archer's, but it will be framed differently from the way it was framed in uh, in um, in U world. I'll be able to understand that this same question. It is the same question, but it's only that it's twisted because that's how NCLEX is. Another thing that we used to do. I have talked about revising sounders from topic by topic, like page one from page one to the last page, and then the questions that are behind there in the sounders book. We used to like every time you get you set yourself like you set yourself like thirty minutes. Anytime you're free, you feel like your brain is okay. You just go back to Saunders, set some questions, like um, may, maybe say I'll, I'll, I want to do like 10 questions per day. I used to make sure that a day I do 100 questions, a, be it in Saunders, be it in QBank. QBank, there are so many. I'll talk about them before I finish this video. So I used to do like, okay, if I have QBank, I have uh, maybe like me, I used to have Archers, and then I used to have UWorld. Medpro normally buy for you, normally buys for you. UWorld. So I had UWorld and I had Archers I bought for myself. Then somebody else had um, Pearson View. Was it Pearson? No, Pearson View was a book. And then um, there is a physical book, but then there was this, um, there was another one. I can't remember exactly. So we, I used to make sure that every day I do 100 questions. Do you know, I used not to do like 100 questions, all of them. How do I do it? Like every time I get a free time, I set 15 questions. Every, within 24 hours. Every time I see a question, every time I see something that I'm not familiar with, I'll make sure I go back to my QBank, set questions based on that system. Because, of course, if you see a question, you know whether it's about safe, safe we used to call it safe environment, um, whatever something, environment, okay? You know, you know whether it's um, about uh, HPM, health promotion and management. You will know whether it's about physiological, you know, and integrity like the PI. You know whether it's psychosocial. So I will understand, I would understand and say now this one, I'm going to set a, um, like a, an exam of 10 questions and then that's what I'll do. And then uh, like by the time the day is over, I'll have done at least, even if it's not 100, at least I'll have made sure that I've done 50 questions, like every day. 
So we had educated ourselves. You, you see, a day has 24 hours. So we had educated ourselves to have five hours for NCLEX, revising for NCLEX. And this is not part of what Medipro is. You know, like I told you, the first three months, we used to do the live classes from 2 a.m. up to 6 a.m. Then at some point, we were left to do our, on ourselves after we, we are done with the modules. So now you keep on revising until the, you, get, you get the ATT, CES evaluation, uh, CES report. Then you get the ATT, then you go do your exam. So before, after you, before you get your ATT, you need to be like, you need to be revising on yourself. You have something you used to call road to end clicks. Like there was so much we were doing, you know. So let's go back before we deviate so much. So we are here, we've set ourselves, like we've done from 4 a.m. up to 6 a.m. Those are quite good hours. And then during the day, those are like 4, 5, 4 to 5. Five to six, those are two hours. So I need three hours. So in the evening, uh, when I come, maybe if I'm not working, if I'm, I was working during the day, I'll come back to, to the house. Then somebody else, of course, in the group, we've chatted during the day, and then we decided, because we didn't finish the cardiovascular, as if you need to complete what you had started in the morning. So we'll still meet in the evening from 8 p.m. up to around 10 p.m. So you see, those are four hours. In 24 hours, we've already managed to do four hours. We've set aside four hours for NCLEX. It's still doable, guys. Because in the morning we did two hours, then we went to work, we did our job, and blah, 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 blah. We came back. If you had errands, you went to run errands. Maybe if you're going for your personal meetings, you went. Then when you're free, you set some few questions. You know, like it's all about sacrifice, guys. Any, you used to go somewhere, like you're going for a social thing, you know, as ladies with these meetings, whatever. You go somewhere, you see, then somebody just think you're withdrawn because you're always on your phone. But they don't know that you're doing some, like, you know, you're just setting yourself quizzes and stuff. And then remember, the agency has, you have to meet some targets for the agency for them to authorize for you to get the ATT from the board, from the board, sorry. You understand? So it's all about sacrifice. So we've done the two hours in the morning. We've done the two hours from 8 to 10 in the evening. Then I'll set aside one hour for myself now to do the, the questions. Then if I realize that maybe in the morning what we were discussing or in the evening classes what we were discussing, I didn't understand, I'll set aside that one hour and say, hey, me, I'll not sleep early today. However much I have errands to run tomorrow, I'll not, uh, I'll not sleep early. I'll still have to do something. Like I want to... I want to make sure that I've achieved something for today. I, I want to make sure that it's in my brain, like the name Yelewa, like I've gotten it, you know. So we've done five hours. I've finished from in the morning. I did two. In the evening, I've done two. Then I added myself maybe one hour and 30 minutes. Maybe I sleep at around 11. By the way, guys, when you're doing ankle, forget about sleeping. Eh, 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 eh. Forget about sleeping, my friend. It's all about a sacrifice. If you sacrifice yourself for three months, it's enough for you to do that thing. It's enough for you to hack it. So we've revised, we've revised. Now the cue banks that are there, we have, um, I've told you about like how I used to do it. Then I used to do a lot of YouTubes. YouTubes, guys. I used, to view, I used to watch a lot of YouTubes. You know, like the other time when I was starting this video, I said if you have a smartphone and if you have maybe internet, don't fullize those bundles for you to start trolling people on internet, you know, going on Twitter and start being a Sijui Kenyan on Twitter, you're fighting against Nigerians, against Ugandans, against Tanzanians, or whatever it is. Don't be involved in your petty battles. Like, they won't even help you develop yourself. So, we used to go, me personally, and it's something that we developed like a group. I used to go on YouTube, search for, maybe like, if, for example, today we were doing CVS, guys. Like, the way I've told you, I'll talk about CVS every now and then. So, if we were doing CVS today, and I feel like this thing, I have not understood it. I'll go back to YouTube. YouTube, there are so many people who are teaching. I'll talk about them because the ones that helped me those days when I was revising for myself, I think I had written them here just in case I forget. We have Simple Nursing on YouTube. That is by, he's called who? I think Mike or something. Nurse Mike, yes. Then we have Sarah Aren. She's very good, by the way. Kwanza Pharmacology. When she's teaching pharmacology, she's very nice. Then we have McKay Audios. And then when I used to listen to McKay, he has very, very many. I think they are about 11. I used to make sure that I've put captions. Because, you know, we Africans sometimes, the accent I have, and you, the guys who are in America, the accent is a bit different. So you may not understand what he's saying. So what I used to do, I used to put captions on when I'm watching. And I like, I used to like watching it on the TV because at least it's big. So I would look for time when guys are asleep, like my kids are sleeping. Then I just open the TV, go to YouTube, blah, blah, blah. And then I put captions on. Then 
it's just me, I have a book, I'm concentrating and all that. Because when I read, when I use the computer on my phone, maybe I'll get distracted, social media, a message has come in on uh, maybe a notification from WhatsApp, a notification, maybe somebody wants to call me. So, you know, I would put phone, my phone on silent mode, put it aside, then uh, the laptop maybe just for revising something that I've not understood, and then I open my TV, the TV, and then I search. Like now, what I'm trying to say for uh, my, for Mark K, Mark Klemek, I used to put uh, captions on so that I'm able to follow. Like it is hard work, guys, but you don't have a choice. It's really hard work, but you don't have a choice. So I used to, I used to put uh, captions on. Then I put like I put down, I write down some notes. Then uh, there is this guy. There is this guy called Enclex Enclex Crusade International. He has he has done a seven days ways of passing like questions, how to answer questions, the strategies. Because NCLEX, you have to hack the strategies of answering those questions. If you're from Africa, if you're from Kenya to be precise, you know that our nursing board exam is not the same as NCLEX. I wouldn't talk about other exams because I don't know, I've never been to. I think because I've done my exams in Uganda, it's not the same as well. So if you're Ugandan and you're a Kenyan and you're watching this, when you're planning, if you're planning to do NCLEX, it is not the same as the Ugandan Nursing Council exam, and it's not the same as the Kenyan Nursing Example exam. It's very different. The way they answer questions, the way you're supposed to answer those questions is totally different. So you need to understand the strategies. That guy has explained so well the strategies of answering those questions, the strategies that you need to learn for you before you go to do that exam. If you're booking exam, if you already booked exam, exam maybe in South Africa, India, uh, Philippines, and you've not watched Mark K, if, you were, if you've not watched NCLEX Crusade International, my friend, you 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 don't need to take a, you don't need to catch a flight my friend before you before you watch that guy you need to you don't have a choice but you need to so i used to watch that guy as well and i used to watch to understand not to watch like i'm watching a movie you know when you're watching a movie is different because at the end of the day even if you forget about that movie who cares anyway it's a movie but for this one i used to watch it for me to understand if you know what it means by understanding like if somebody would ask me what is written in page one of sound that I would tell you because I had like, you know, not cramming it as per se, but I was reading to understand. If you were to ask me the same question, but you twist it, I'll still understand this is what you mean. You understand? Like for example, um, I will attach some questions here, but differently, how they maybe like they are answered. They, they've been said it's one same question, it's asking the same thing, but it's set differently, like it's twisted a bit. And, and for you to see what I'm trying to say. So this NCLEX, NCLEX Crusade guy will teach you the strategies that you need to understand before you sit for that exam. And he's done, a, I think, a seven day something, seven day, a seven day something, I don't know. You need to Google it up on, on YouTube. So I used to do Sarah Aren, I used to do Mark uh, Simple Nursing, Mark K, NCLEX Crusade guy. Then there is this uh, summit college. Oh my, if you want to do anything to do with me, me, me do it free. Me do it free, my friend. Listen to summit college. Summit college, they have very nice, they teach so well. There's that lady, an elderly lady, and she's so good in me do it free. You don't have a choice, by the way. If you're preparing to do NCLEX, by the way, you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. You need to do it. Like, you need to do it, guys. You know? So, those are the materials that I used. And then, uh, of course, we finished uh, revising. We got our ATT. Like, we did extensive, like, deep, 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 deep. Now it came to time. Like, now I had, like, I would say I had hacked it. Now I know how to do it, you know. And then it came time for us now to go and do the exams. Now I'll give you my experience with the day, with the day of the exam. So don't touch the dial, guys. And I hope this, this video is helping you because every time I'm finishing the video, I normally get like, I don't know, I don't understand how to summarize it. In summary, this video was all about how to prepare for NCLEX. How to prepare for NCLEX. What materials do you need? We've said you need Q-Banks. Of course, you need Q-Banks. You can do Archers, U-World, um, there's um, Pearson, there's Simple Nursing also they have, I think. And so many guys, you can comment down below. You can also tag people who can maybe teach... On one thing I forgot, in Kenya, there are some tutors who have come up, like nurses who've come up with those ideas of coaching people 
about NCLEX and stuff. Um, there are several. I think there is one called Winnie. I can also attach her number here. And then there is um, there is um, there is uh, there is Winnie. She's already gone to to the US, I guess, but she's doing so well. The number of people who've passed through her hands and they're doing so well. It's, it's quite a commendable job. Congrats, Winnie. Congratulations. Um, she normally does those training, like you enroll for her classes. I'll attach the number as well so that at least you guys can, maybe you can call her and then see whether she'll assist you if you're planning to start this journey. She'll also give you a guide on the same. And then there is this one called Mercy or somebody. Yeah, there are several guys. There are several people who are teaching nurses in Kenya, specifically in Kenya. But I think it's they are also going global because like now Winnie is not in the country anymore. She left, and she's doing a good job. I think she's in Winchester or something or Minnesota. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to give you the clues of what I used when I was revising. We had notes from MedPro. We had Cubans from MedPro as well, and then those Cubans, Cubans. The one that MedPro had bought for us was UWAL. Then I added uh, Archers. Somebody had Pierce on view, like when we were a group. Had somebody like I think had Pierce on view. Somebody else had um, Leaping Court. Somebody else had. Um, there were several. Those are few banks. And then Sounders. By the way, you cannot revise Sounders, my friend. You cannot revise Sounders if you don't. You cannot revise for NCLEX if you don't know Sounders. What is in that Sounders book? I think right now we are in edition 8 or 7, I think. I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's been a while since I did that. So you you comment down below and tell us which edition we are using currently. And then um, we used to YouTube. YouTube, guys. There's a lot of information on social media. YouTube really came through for us. And then there is, um, like in YouTube, I've told you McKay. I've told you Simple Nursing. I've told you Sarah Aren, I've told you Summit College, I've told you Enclex, Enclex Crusade. That guy will give you hacks on how to understand the strategies of answering the questions. And then we have, um, of course, now the, our discussion groups. And then we also used to have WhatsApp groups. WhatsApp groups, they used to have maybe like you have a different, like people come up together worldwide because we even have, we used to have people from, from Tanzania, from Philippines, from Nigeria. There's such a group whereby people are so many, like every evening you find like somebody sending questions. So you have to keep up with the speed, you know, every time you're free and you find that they have posted uh, questions, you make sure you do the questions very fast and mark yourself because they will send answers later. So join such groups. If you're doing NCLEX, don't join groups to troll people. Don't go to TikTok. It's only a few, it's only a few, maybe a few years and then you're done. Or maybe you can, maybe because of the delays of the paperwork and stuff, it might take you maybe a year or something when you're preparing. Yeah, guys, when you're preparing for NCLEX, depending on how fast your paperwork go through, so it might even take a year or something. So what you do, don't, don't be somebody who is just misusing internet. Be somebody who is resourceful. Okay, and then, of course, I've talked about others. Maybe listen to this video and understand. So let me stop there. I'll make another video maybe in, later in the day. I'll make another video and tell you now my experience with the nursing, with the NCLEX, the, the day of the NCLEX. So see you guys. Please uh, don't forget to share, like, comment down below. Tell us what you are doing well. Tell us what you're doing well. Please, negative comments, it's all about positive vibes. A positive criticism is okay because we are all learning. Guys, like I told you, if you look at the beginning of this channel, the videos we were making, they were not that good. And we said because we are learning, we will not delete them. They will just be there. Everybody wants to learn. So let's learn. Bye. God bless.